Every great story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. When we first started out, we didn't know where we were going. We just knew we needed to get there. With our own unique versions of style and grace, we fashioned ourselves to begin our epic journey. We had it in our minds that this idea of achieving greatness was not something we would steer away from. There was a sense of wonder and excitement that filled our eyes as we prepared ourselves for what would become the journey of a lifetime. To rise above and outwards and onwards, remembering every story told like a work of fiction. No matter how real, whispered from the lips of time from the minds of the world. Dare I say that hearing a story, even firsthand, was never cause enough to create an immersion as well as what I could see with my own eyes. So no, I did not know where we were going, but the stories that had become so familiar to me became a roadmap for what was to be and all that was left to be desired. And despite all of this, I always felt like there was something more. Maybe I was the one that could finally see things the way that they really were. After all, stories change, people change, ideas change. There exists a time within each of our lives when the memories we make become our destinations. We chase intangible things that are our sandcastles on the beach, yet we imagine them as great palaces that will last for all of eternity. But the real marks we make are the impressions we give. The ideas we seek are what make us individuals unlike anyone that has ever come before us. With every step an inch towards the end of the path, do we even realize that we share everything that is placed at our feet? This idea of what's mine, and the things we've earned and worked for, even from the coldest of grips, will be shared eventually. Whether it's the same dust we will all become, or the openness of one's love for his fellow travelers, all must be rooted in justice and fair intentions. People often say that time is one thing we will never hold in our hands, and that it is a force beyond our power and control. I disagree. The entire timeline of all of existence, the years above measure that passed before us like a split second leading to the day we were born into the world, were suddenly slowed down to such a degree that the blackness became light, and in our hands was placed an opportunity to take part in this great collaboration. I have to imagine now that on some level, in some way, as we were racing through the darkness, that we chose the chance to be here, that we could win this game. Perhaps it was ego, perhaps it was a genuine feeling. There is something that comes after and a reason why we stopped here, but the answer is time regardless. I kind of think that when we awoke into our lives, that we forgot why we were here and what we were supposed to accomplish, but we build anyways. Our entire lives, everything we do, everyone we meet, Every memory, every opportunity we take to let others know we were here are the bricks we use to build the world. People borrow these bricks to make their castles. All the while as we imagine building our own legacy, we often fail to realize that we are all building the same thing. Every person and every life becomes a brick in the monument to human existence. The world can be dark and scary, but if we build our own palace, I would want to live somewhere beautiful to fill the rooms with friends, family, strangers, neighbors, warmth and love. Even strangers can become friends. To live cold and empty would make us an exception of the game, but we were all on the same team, building the same house, and at the very pinnacle, sharing the same path and destination. When we open the doors and walk inside for the very first time, after spending our entire lives assembling our structure, and we see the house filled with everyone we have ever known and not known, you need to take a moment to understand. I didn't build this house. We all did. 